Okay. This is September the 22nd. We're on Module 12. Fifth Tinkling Lesson. Figure 8 Run. Figure 8 Run. We've got an awful small figure eight for these very large first graders here. So probably need to make it at least the size of a basketball court just to keep them from running on top of each other, right? Pick up the pace so we can spread out a bit. Pick up the pace. Come on. Move it. Move it. Hustle. Run off and leave them. My goodness, we're lazy today, huh? Come on. Come on. Go, 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 go. Thirty seconds left. Let's go. It's just, it's too small. And they're not really little kids either. Chris, come run, come run the camera. I, you don't need to be. Would you? I don't think you need to be. I don't think you need to be walking around. I think you just need to. See, what'd you do? I don't know. I, I stepped out there and it just suddenly started hurting. And it didn't, you didn't roll your ankle. Is it the bottom part? The it's, arch? It's this part. Okay, one person. You rolled it. Put your hand on your head. You sure did. So, I, can, um, I can do beating and maybe hold the chin and jump rope. Yes. But if you keep, if you go run on it, it's going to swell up. So we rest, eyes compression. So for the next few minutes, go sit down and elevate your foot. Okay. See, and don't take your shoe off. Up on the bench. Alright, now I want y'all to try it. 
And then you keep raising the height of the. Okay, I'm going to count for you. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four. In, out, in, on. Excellent. Okay, good job. Now go ahead and switch. Uh, since they're not really little children, if you want to pick it up about almost knee level on one side, that'll make it more challenging. Yeah, you have to do it higher. Try to pick it up a little higher. And, and also you can widen it out. This is perfect right here. This is good. All right. Go ahead and try it. Ready? Five, six, seven, eight. One. Good job. All right, switch so the third person can try it. Do you want Chris back in? He can beat. I just don't want him stepping. Two beaters and one stepper. Oh, well. You want to go run the music? You go sit All down right. there and let me turn around. Right. Uh, he can, if he beats, then she can step because oh, he can okay. just stay as a permanent beater. Okay. Take Patrick's spot yeah. right here because it's closest. Okay. There we go. Right okay. Right side. All right, y'all are just going to do the uh, basic step, um, probably a circle, yeah. So everybody's going to do one circle. And when you get back to your spot, then that's when we're going to move, okay? So when I yell out square formation, that's when you're going to start moving. And I want the steppers just to step out of the way so they can move, okay? So a regular circle. Um, Brent, can you start to beat, please? The beaters need to actually stand up on their legs and bend over at the waist to be able to beat, and they'll go about twice as fast as well. Okay? Other three, you're going to do the circle. So 
This is what it's going to look like. And then you're back to do the circle. And then you circle the rest of it. All right, so the first one you're going to do the Z. And then all the rest you're just going to circle until you get back to your spot. All right? <laughs> Let's try it. Okay, beaters, get ready. Okay, can you start the beat, please? If you've only got three in the group, then you have to switch three times. Right. Yeah, because he can't switch. This 
one's going to be uh, a little bit harder. Two of the groups have to stand up, okay? So let's say this group and this group. Y'all are just going to stay seated. Okay, I need you two <laughs> and you two to pick up the poles. Okay, let me demonstrate. So while we're beating, after we finish this preparation, we're going to stand up and carry the poles over these people's heads. Make sure the class is on them. And we're going to end up in this cross formation. Okay? So while they're still beating, we're going to keep the beat and start with them. So y'all go ahead and try beating. You'd Let's actually, you'd actually turn on three because it's a three, four count music. Oh, okay. So you would turn on four if you're using American style music. But what we're, this is a three, four count. So, so does that make sense? Yeah. You turn as you step. On your third step, you turn. Your fourth mm -hmm. step, you come meet. You turn. Yeah. Right. It's okay. easier to do than explain. All right. So y'all go ahead and move yours over here, and we're just going to practice without beating first, just to make sure we can get it before we actually put it together. Sounds like okay, a good I need um, steppers on the corner. Diagonal of each other? Not yet. We're just going to practice going through it, okay? Okay. okay. Ready? We're nice and wide. They've got to be able to get through. Right. Ready? They are very good. Look like little soldiers. She looks okay. a little lost, doesn't she? And we're going to start, we're going to do the Z again, okay? But once we do the Z, we're going to step out the way and let them, these two people are going to go to this side, and these two people are going to go to this side to do the cross formation. You and people on the ends, you have to keep beating, okay? So never stop. And then once you get on top, go ahead and start beating with them. All right. Here we go. Can I get a beat, Barrett?
the beaters keep picking up the speed. <laughs> One, two, turn, one, two, turn. Think about it. All right. All right. Ready? Let's start the meeting, Switching teachers! Good job, Kathleen. Switching teachers. Put it. It's whatever you want to do, we need to be able to put it all together. Yeah, jump rope tricks. You will not be doing this part. Oh, your your foot is not getting any better. I do have some ice in the refrigerator. Um, as soon as class is over, we'll go get you some ice, and you can put it on there for about 15 minutes. If where you wish your next class. It's yours. Okay, great. So. Good job. Good sweet man. Huh? So Christopher, I'm going to ask you to do the critique of the other class. Okay, for both Catherine and Brent. So try to think of good things and... Got his rope. Look at that skill, look at that skill. We're not exactly rocky yet, but we're getting there. Jump 
broken. We're not little kids anymore. We're doing this for exercise, right? We are little kids, but right now we're going to we're, get some work We're done. very big kids. Huh? But. All right, so we're not going to jump like this. Get your ankles up. All right, we're going to get a nice tight body position, and we're going to work. Try to work them calves, jump on your toes. Try to keep your knees straight. All right? Do one, two, three, four, and five jumps. Ready? Go. Well, Brian and Patrick got a little competition going there. camera on him, but have some students in there as well if possible. But I need to go. skipped over a bunch of them. Let's see if he goes back. Right, right, left, left, right, right, left, left. Mm -hmm. yeah. You're ready, practice. But he may go back and see if he can do the others if he gets more time. Let's see if he does. Alright, now let's bring the rope into it. Ready? Begin. Good count, good count. He's like someone from the army. Well, he is good. <laughs> yeah. he, uh, he has great uh, student management. He's separating the kids out from the women with the ropes. He's great. Right. He's the work on his motivation. He's scary to the children. Yeah. yeah. So, so he, can, he can do that. You just got to learn to use different words. Like, instead of saying dominant hand, we can say your favorite hand. Because kids are not going to know if they're first grade. Those are all little skills we can all learn. And which one is that? Which is not his lesson. There is positive reinforcement, though. Yep. All right, this time, we're going to start. One, two, three, four. And we're going to go up, back, 
side to side. Alright? Now we're going to one, two, three, four, and get it. Alright? Ooh, what is that? Ready? Begin! Yeah, I don't think he's on the right lesson. I think he skips some stuff. Ideally, you would teach those tricks and then you would have them put them all together. Do it again. Do it again. He's supposed to be on this lesson, but I think he's not. And they're so happy with that if he was a teacher, but since I've given these people these lessons, then they'll be doing redundant things. So. Excellent description of all of this teaching. Sleepy, it is Monday, all right? Wake up, wake up.
He does, he just the camera was on him. Yeah. My baby class used to be so good. Did you see? Yeah. yeah. First, first, end of the first uh, one. See, JT's a little tall, so he has He's to jump a little tall. higher than he's going to be a little bit. Yeah. 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 Okay, I'm going to start one, yeah. two, three, four, like JT did. Yeah. Is that Let's jump two times. I'm going to come back and finish that. Then on the third one, let's cross. Uh, all I gotta do is cross your arm. Same thing as a regular jump. Is this right? Practice. Hmm? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. Got to plug it together now. Stop. Ready? Mm -hmm. Ready? Mm -hmm. Again. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Four, five, five. Do exercise on the MP anyway, so. Yeah, I'm going to find it there. Yeah. Um, Class is transferred over, so. It's all good. You didn't change your name, you didn't just change your name. Yeah. I miss you. I miss you, bro. We need to move on to scarves. All right. Everybody put their jump ropes back where they got. No. Turn around. Put your arms out, dear. Like, Catherine, put your arms out. Okay, everybody come put them out onto my arms. Yeah, that way they don't get tangled up. If you lay, let them lay on the floor, they tend to make a mess. I had shown her that earlier, but I didn't show Brent that. He was busy with twinkling poles. Okay. Yeah, everybody grab a scarf. Thank you. Thank you very much. JT's going to work on his his juggling pins here. Well, you're not ready for that, but you are ready for the bags or the balls. If you want to. Yeah. Yeah, but the bags don't roll around if you drop them. They don't. Go, go, go. Run around, run around. There we go, there we go, let's move. Try it out, try it out, try it out. Alright, what we're going to be doing with this column jump. What that means, it's not your basic juggling. We're going to have two scores in one hand and one in your left hand. So we'll start with your right hand with two. Everybody put two in their right hand. Any lefties here? Me. Okay. You want to do left or right? Oh, <laughs> left. Okay, we're going to have two to your left. There you go. The idea is we're going to have two up at a time, one down, then we're going to switch and have one up at a time and two down. So basically what it is, is the outside ball on your right hand if you have two, and your left one, they're going to go up at the same time while the middle ball's down. Whenever we catch it again, the middle ball goes up. The two stay down. So it's going to look like columns. Does everybody get it? D demonstrate for us. Let's go, JT. JT's going to demonstrate. There you go. Just like that. See the outside flag in his right hand? It's always going up with the left flag. So you're only using your right hand. Yep. Yeah, that's it. Your dominant hand. So when you start, you just Yep, you start with the right. One with two, one with two, like that. one with two. Then switch the middle one up. I think this is the easiest one. Oh, J right. yeah. Justin's got Let's it. Try that. Ready? Again. There you go. So yeah, see, see, and you could practice this if your ankle was just a little better. Right. But we just keep trying right to get you off the foot right now. Up and down, up and down, up and down. Switching it with the flag to the right hand. Just like that. Good job. There you go. There you go. Sometimes it's better to show them first and then describe so they can see a better picture. Two 
I'm impressed. It's a cool way to start. <laughs> yeah. Somebody practiced all summer on that, huh? I worked at a summer camp and the kids loved it. I just played with them. I'm telling you, if you can juggle the kid, you'll have the kids motivated because they all want right. to be like you. I want you to get to your person you love. All right. <laughs> 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 all right, look to the person you love. Now look right. <laughs> Good recovery, then. <laughs> now stop. Now look behind. All right, now I want you to get part. Everybody got part? Who doesn't have part? Here we go, right here. Here we go. Now two. Now I want you to face each other and bat. See if you keep it up the long way. Uh, we probably need to pick up our equipment because you only got one minute left. Let's pick it up. Go, go direct them. Tell them.